Here we are on the Front Row Show and we have Cam Roygaard joining us, mate. Thank you so much. What do you think of the truck? Yeah, it's awesome, mate. I was just looking at the uh, things behind me. It's pretty interesting, eh? Some of the old yeah. shots. You're a car yeah. man. You'd be pretty impressed with some yeah. of this. Car setup. man, not a trailer man, but nah, that's cool. About eight months ago, you're, you're training, getting ready to, for the hurricane season, and here you are now pushing pretty hard for a spot in this AB's team. How are you feeling? Oh, obviously, I'm loving it. Like, it's, um, it's obviously happened pretty quickly, but um, yeah, like eight months ago or a year ago even, um, wouldn't really think that I'd be here. Had goals and stuff at the start of the year and um, probably seemed a little bit unrealistic at the time, but um, it was something to strive for and keep um, pushing towards. And I suppose like, I'm pretty grateful that I have been able to um, tick some of those off um, as the year's sort of gone on. And, um, to be here now, um, getting ready for a quarterfinal, it's pretty cool. Now, you, um, a lot of people won't know, but you're a Waikato boy, went to Cambridge. Um, and do you want to tell us a little bit about that, that sort of journey of moving away from there? Yeah, so I went to um, St Peter's, Cambridge, and was in the Waikato pre-academy, they call it, which was like for year 12, 13. Wasn't really much of an opportunity at Waikato um, for the academy. Um, and counties showed interest, so I thought that was my best opportunity to um, get potential game time, so yeah, made the decision to um, go up there. You, you moved, shifted from Waikato. Was there other halfbacks in the way there? Uh, yeah. Is that so why you moved? Part of the reason, yeah. So there was um, Cortez, who's my age. He was probably the top nine on Waikato. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like, it was quite funny. I got talked about the club, playing club in the Waikato, that they wanted us playing against each other, not in the same club, and I thought, uh, sort of thought about that from like an NPC perspective, like I don't want to be stuck behind these guys in the academy or NPC, I'd rather be somewhere else and play against them to sort of try to prove myself. You're from a stock car mm. uh, family, your, your dad, massive driver, you, yeah. you and your brother, Yeah. went and watched them when you were younger, is that right? Yeah, yeah, so I sort of grew into it, like um, dad raced off for years and it was sort of just a part of, um, part of growing up really, um, it was sort of speedway first and um, rugby second, <laughs> yeah. or rugby in the winter, speedway in the summer. And do you think that that experience of driving helped your rugby in, in any way? Yeah, like, um, oh, it's quite interesting, like, when we're in that, um, the mini stocks, which is the kid class, you sort of have to use your peripheral vision, um, your vision to, like, avoid crashes and sort of feel who's around you and stuff, and I think um, on the field, it's, I suppose it's a little bit similar, you know, like, if you got to line break or someone's coming behind you, you can sort of feel your supporters and stuff like that, so. Go well, brother. Thanks, mate. Appreciate Enjoy it. the next couple of weeks. We are all going. Do you want the passe? Eh? Do you want that? No, that's good. Oh, is it actually good? Yeah, it's oh. perfect, yeah. Um, so you, you're going to tell me where to go? Right, yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, lift here, lift here. Where? Where? Lift here, lift here, lift here. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Whoa, why is my... What do you mean? No, no, we're good. It says we can't go this way. I'm good, just tell me where I'm going. Yeah. You've met the mayor. Mayor? Yep, a few times. Has he invited me? Yeah. yeah. He definitely has. Yeah. Because I feel like a bit of a chauffeur at the moment. Nah, no, he is. Don't yeah, wind he wants me to up, meet you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, boom. I'm, I'm gonna need to see the map as well, mate, because I'm not. You're, you're, you're calling it late. Alright. So you're coming to a bit of an intersection here, you just go straight through. I mean, a bit of an intersection. An intersection? Uh, yeah. And you go straight, straight through. Straight? Yeah. This is embarrassing, mate. That's all right. This is a classic car. Everyone knows that we're up to something, so... All right, are you looking forward to meeting him, or...? Yeah, I can't wait, mate. I've put a shirt on and everything. Yeah, I know. I didn't realise it was so nice casual, but... Why is there no directions there? Because we're... Oh, uh, so... Could be here through. No. Oh, here, here, through there. Boom. Through here. Yeah. So he's he's got us uh, VIP entrance into. Where the do we park, mate? Like uh, we swing can around, park, eh? park it anywhere, man. He's all good. He's all good. Yeah, isn't yeah he can park it anywhere, bus. <laughs> no worry. Oh, stop. Are we good? No, nah, apparently we're not. Okay. So that's why I asked you to tell me where we were. to the fan zone in Paris to support my people but the problem is we're not actually playing I don't have strong feelings about whether I want Ireland or Scotland to win I just don't want the result that is bad for South Africa
concept. Yes. Well, what is your name? My name is Justin. I like your hair. I just like Peter Armani's ball. Have you seen the videos of his glass? It's like, this is all garden. It's so good. That's my dream. He scarifies it. And it wasn't long before Armani's Ireland team was scarifying the Scotland defence. Plenty of drinks. Are you mad? Are you okay? Yeah, we're not finished yet, man. It's only half a game, right? Scotland are going to come back in the second half, and we're going to take them on. Come on, Scotland! Scotland did come out with some fights, sometimes literally, and even scored some tries to lift the fans' spirits. What is happening? What is happening? But Ireland were too good, and their supporters were loving it. There he is. Hey. Hi. Hey, Gregory. Nice How to meet you, Gregory. I've heard a lot about yes. you. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, did this guy, did this guy uh, ask you to, to, to climb the, the hills with a bicycle? He did. <laughs> he did, yeah. Good to see you, good to see you. Good to see you, good to see you too. Wow, I'm very Gee impressed dog. with your best, guys. And yes, so, well, yeah, welcome. This it's is been a... all over Lyon. Mm. Really? Yeah. Ah. Yes. So that's the main stairs. I'm the next mayor. He's told me so many things about you. <laughs> yeah. You're very good friends, are you? So this is the ballroom. This, this is, is. Oh, this mate. Is it. Far out. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit nicer than our office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit bigger. It's a bit bigger. <laughs> and we call this one the red room. Oh. <laughs> wonder yeah. why. Yeah. Just because of the color. I mean, oh. have you noticed the dress code? Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> all black. Oh, it's, it's actually <laughs> all shirts. <laughs> Shirts is what it is, mate. Whoa. My hey. face. Big dog. Come, come to the balcony and here is it. Oops. Hey. Let's <laughs> hey. no switch it off, yeah. mate. Yeah. Can I have a seat on your seat? And of just... course, of course. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come, please take a seat. Please take a seat today. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just want to tell you that the position of mayor is a really yeah. <laughs> First time I've connected with him, and I don't know, we. It's, it's always been about George, but I oh, can't. Oh, we forgot like to take can. a photo. We're supposed to take a photo. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, sorry, sorry, I forgot to take a photo. It's out of film. Oh, no! <laughs> see, nothing's come up. <laughs> You look a, lo a bit lonely. Can I join you? Yeah, sit down, sit down. Thank you. It's our room here. Yeah. What did you think of the game last night? I actually thought Ireland were really good. Um, like that Scotland side came in, um, like that was a must win game for them, and Ireland blew them off the paddock, set piece, special plays. It was super accurate around the field. Um, and even see after the game, their coach is kind of saying, oh no, no, we've still got a lot of respect for the All Blacks, we're just going about our work. That makes me nervous as well. So. <laughs> And how good this week's going to be fantastic. It's going to be good, but I feel like Scotland didn't put enough line speed on Ireland. Do you think the All Blacks need to do that? Yeah, oh, the, the All Blacks will have a plan around all that stuff. Um, and just rattle, rattling the early, you know, I, Ireland have never won a playoff game, so um, that, I'm sure that'll be in the back of their head. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder if they talk about that this week. Yeah, I mean, you've played in <laughs> sudden, sudden death rugby, playoff rugby. Yeah. How do you approach a week like this? Pretty close scores in those matches. Um, I honestly think nothing changes. I think it's all in the mindset. Um, you know, you talk about privilege, pressure, and it's the way you can kind of view it in a different way that it's just another game. It's another game of footy. We, we all have two arms, two legs. It's, you just go out there, and as long as you do your job well, then usually the team comes together, and 
that's why I say I'm a bit of a self visualization person. So, you know. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Like, I'm, I'm the same. Like, it's, it's almost just being even more accurate with your job, mm -hmm. getting off the ground even quicker, doing the simple things real well, and that's, that's where the magic happens. Is someone whistling? Yeah, what's going on in here? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, I love that. I love the pressure. Yeah. I love I love the loudness, the crowd. I know it's going to be, you know how the Irish fans are. Embrace pretty crazy. It, eh? Embrace You've got to it. Embrace it. it. Pretty good at blocking it out, though. Yeah, yeah good. Blocking the noise out and just tunneling in on, yep. on what's to come. But... What do you reckon, George? Wait, oh, is he sleeping? Yeah, or... the, the ball was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, it is. I'm looking forward to it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, the AVs. Boo! Eiffel Tower. Paris, we are here. Quarterfinals week. Woohoo! Come on!